Six sisters, one bus. Let's go. Hey, I'm Christina. I'm Catherine. I'm Lisa. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. I'm Danny. And, and we're, we're Cimarelli. Right now, oh. we are touring America. Woo! We've already been to Pennsylvania, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Kentucky, just to name a few. As you can see, we are on our tour bus right now. So, we thought we would give you guys a tour of the tour bus so you can see what it's like to live life on the road. This is the front of the bus. This driver is Ike. <laughs> and this is our tour manager, Mike. He's having an introvert moment. This is the first room in the bus. Ike, the driver, has this cool thing of old fashioned peppermint candy. So you just open it. <gasps> it's a mouse! Yeah, I don't know why he has this, but he has it. So, as you can see, the bus kind of moves, you know, because we're driving. So, it's actually harder than it looks to walk around in a moving bus because sometimes you fall and then you get like. Because you're just going along this big boom! And you're not like prepared, so I've um, gotten a few groups of school. Oh, there's Danny. What do you know? Doing one of her drawing, Gina. Beautiful. Kevin said her name. Looks like her name is Gina. I don't know why. We didn't put her in art school. She does these cool drawings on the back of some of our posters. Some of the fans have the horror, I mean, honor of getting one of these posters with a cool picture that Danny drew on them. Ah, uh, she's going on Mike's laptop. Don't tell Mike. No, I can't. This is my laptop. He can't hear us because he has his headphones in. Cups they use for the cups on. These are the official cups. Through these doors we have the bunks, so let's check those out. Yeah. First we have the nice bathroom door, which caused me a lot of pain. It's a small bathroom. We don't have to look at it. But it's a small bathroom. Oh, oh there's Lisa. Just have to watch one. No big deal. No big deal. Okay. Let's take a look at each person's bunk. <laughs> okay. Um, over here we have my little entertaining station. Normally. Oh, your pictures. What? Not Lisa. Not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But I'm not. I'm just charging. In two movies. Little Rascals and Diary Blue Kid. Pretty good. Hello. I, w I watched Little Rascals two times. I'm gonna watch it tonight too. And then the DVD player which I hit my head on at least like three times a day, or my knee. I mean, my picture's over here, which I painted at the hotel, of Same all my brothers, that. and that's our dad, and that's our, our, my second youngest brother, Nick, and then Joey and Alex, me and Joey, Christian, and then Mrs. Michael and Alex, our brothers. Oh yeah, my curtains are kind of broken, so you try and shut them and it gets like stuck. Oh, I got it. <laughs> That's my bunk. It's not very interesting. Yeah, it is. Shut <laughs> it. Oh, sorry. Ta da! My bunk. It's kind of a trick to get up to it. <laughs> I have my iPod Touch, my iPod, this nice Just Beaver DVD, um, the Wi Fi hotspot. I don't know why it's in my bed, but it is. And then I have my purse, which just has. Lost off it, which I got from a nice Sim Fam Louis Rock. And then I have this DVD player that doesn't actually play DVDs. But there's no like DVD slot, which was kind of sad, but whatever. It's cool anyway. And then I just have my blanket, some nice air vents, and some working curtains, unlike Danny's. Okay, so I have two bunks. One that I I'm so spoiled. One that I sleep in when it's late, which is up here. My nice blanket. And then this is my stuff bunk where I keep my Lorna Jane bag and my purse and my sneaker wedges. And then my And phone. then what's this? Oh, this is this like energy drink thing. It kind of tastes like Sierra Mist. This awesome family with these cute little babies and little kids came to our picnic um, in Nashville, I think it was, Tennessee, and gave us like six of them, one for each of us. I just finished mine off. It was really good, so thanks for that. And then I have like my purse, my, just, I try to like keep mine organized and keep everything in the bags and stuff. So there's like clothes and makeup and stuff in here and then 
I don't know, super glue in here for when I break my jewelry, which happens a lot. I just had to glue my ring back together today. But yeah, that's my bed. Oh, and here's my phone, and I'm already over my data bill this month. All for you guys, okay? All for you guys. So, I sleep on this lovely bottom bunk. See that? It's um, very small, and I like climb in, you know? I don't have anything in it. What? Except for my phone charger, because I keep all my stuff this closet right here. Oh, let's see the closet. <laughs> I have my purse, my Lorna Jane duffel bag, my shoes, my hat, and my suitcase, and my guitar usually. So that's where I keep all my stuff, and that's where I sleep. Nice. This is the closet with the vacuum and the broom, but it has bands who've been here before. Check this out. Yellow card, Metallica, Blink-182. Look at all this. So this is my bunk bed. Um, as you can see, most of my stuff is not actually in it because I saved my bunk bed for sleeping. So I put most of my stuff over there in the other bunk, which yeah, I don't really want to show you because it's got a lot of personal, I I'm just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but so this is my bunk. This is my majestical pen bag. Um, it has a lot of pens in it because a writer can never have too many pens. Very true, though I generally prefer black ink. Um, that's my preference. So if you're ever sending me a pen, black ink, that's what I love. And a lot of these are actually from our wonderful fans at home. Thank you all. Um, this is the book that I'm reading right now, Gone with the Wind. Um, I've only read about- Great book, I've read it. I've only read about 15 pages so well, far. Beecha. It's one of my summer reading books, which I'm still working on. This is my prayer journal. Kind of explains itself, prayer journal. This is a notebook that I bought at Walmart because it was 50 cents, how can you resist that? 50 cents, come on. This is a special one. This is my poet's notebook. One of my many um, different kinds of books that I write in. My mom bought this for me from Barnes and Noble. We were actually shopping together and I said, how come no one's bought this for me yet? Because it says, the poet's notebook. Hello, I've written a lot. And I actually have several hundred, probably actually a couple thousand more poems at home. This is my summer journal. Cats, as you can see, this is the cover page. I'll show you all. Yes, you're that special. Summer of 20, woo! Yeah, um, that's my bunk. Pretty comfy, pretty literary, just like me. And this is my bunk. I have my horrible phone. Um, this, uh, we just got this from a fan and it says my name on it. And we got it from uh, Columbus, Ohio, I think, yes. And um, it's my sweatshirt that I wear like every day when it gets cold here and then like every morning for breakfast in the hotels. And then this is my favorite book that I'm reading. Well, I'm just finishing it and I'm gonna read it again. And then my pink sparkly makeup bag. And then I just have my purse, which is very full of everything you can imagine. And um, that's all the furniture that I keep in there because I like to sleep and then just wake up and then go to the hotel as soon as possible. So. I'm a little hyperactive and I don't just like sitting down all the time and chilling out. I really just like to be moving a lot. So it gets kind of like boring being stuck in this small place. So I find stuff to do. And this is locked. Can you please open the door? This oh, is God. the back. Room. Oh, and look! Yeah. There's Gerald. Hello. So, Gerald. Yeah. What's it like to be the bodyguard on this tour? What straight answer? You know, actually, you guys are a lot easier. You guys are. Uh, your fans are very good fans. You don't have a lot of uh, fans that are looking to hurt you. Uh, just have to be careful because you guys are like uh, America's sweethearts. So. Uh, there's always a bad element out there. Danny, I think, is the most dangerous thing that I have going for me because if I fall asleep, you know, I may wake up with makeup or something like that. <laughs> I think that of course, you guys are very talented, and uh, each time there's a stop, I'm noticing that more and more. And here's my here's a. Uh, he thinks I. This happens to be my uh, my nemesis. I have to keep her supplied with fresh cookies to keep her from, you know, using the uh, 
shaving cream on my face or <laughs> you know while I'm asleep. You're getting weird weird pictures of me. But no, you guys are you guys are awesome. You guys are the best. I know. Thanks. There's a bunch of posters that Danny accidentally spilled water on, so they're no, dry. No, I didn't spill it. We were experiencing yeah, right. turbulence okay. and then the cup of water fell Danny over. See, water. the troublemaker is still her. <laughs> Gotta go. And there's Gerald once again with a J. So, this is the back room, and this is where we practice and have our little meetings and um, chill out. You can like shut the door and get some privacy if you want. And then we put like our goal lists and to-do lists on the walls, and um, okay, they're all hanging up and then you can listen to music in here. But yeah, this is uh, where we do our practices every day. So we're gonna run through a couple songs. Whoa, this is the way we fail. We do this every day. This is the way we, this is the way we, this is the way we live.